Yo, Pace, what is going on? This is Tasselfoot here. You guys can call me Tass. We are going to be doing some goosing. Hope you guys have your honks, your ducks, your geese all in a row for we are going to be running through 100% the entirety of Untitled Goose Game. I uh, hope you are ready. We'll kick it off uh, and just get this going right away for you. Uh, I'll count it down myself here. I guess we control our own timers. So we will do that with uh, three, two, one, Hawk. So Untitled Goose Game came out last year, uh, a bit of an indie hit. And the speed run is, uh, is pretty interesting as well, especially 100%. You're going to get to see all of the main tasks. You're going to get to see all of the hidden tasks and all of the speed tasks. So in Goose Game, um, things are optional, basically walls mostly fences. Uh, so we go right through that opening gate. And interestingly about it is that it will automatically open for us when we reset because the game itself is like programmed and saying, oh, hey, you're resetting an area. You must have gotten through this starter gate. So it automatically opens even if you don't open it when you reset. And we are going to be resetting hopefully only twice in this run. Three times if it goes poorly, and that is because of the speed tasks. We have a seven minute timer to complete all of the tasks in each area, and that only resets on, uh, on a reset. And so we're going to try to do two areas within one uh, reset, uh, and we lost a sandwich. Sandwich down. Uh, this is Groundskeeper Willie. This is the garden. There are four areas to Goose Game. We have the garden, we have High Street. Uh, oh, it fell off again. Wonderful. Um, please, please stop. Uh, so all the main tasks, basically there's like seven or eight tasks and you complete all but one of them and it will unlock a final task. And when you complete that final task, it will then allow you access to the next area. There are also 15 hidden tasks. So that was the first one of those 15, which is to lock the groundskeeper out of his own garden. And so we're gonna take care of about 10 of those, I think, in, during the main portion of the game. And then we're gonna roll the credits and we're gonna do some post game at the end. And we're gonna get the remainder of the hidden tasks. But we're gonna get all of our speed tasks and all of our main tasks out of the way here during the main portion of the game. Uh, the, the longest and most tedious in each area is the gather task. We skip those in the any percent glitch list category um, just because of how long they are. Well, this is not where I want him to be at all. Uh, I need to grab that pumpkin. So um, because the fact that he is over there, it is not good. We're not able to grab that pumpkin, but uh, you know, we can distract him a little bit. And now we get to do probably the best part of the, the run um, which is butt cabbage, but he is, again, not cooperating here. So we're going to distract him once again, get him to do something else so that we can get this cabbage and the pumpkin. So the pumpkin is required for the gather task. Uh, every good picnic uh, needs a pumpkin. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of your picnics have pumpkins. But one of the hidden tasks is to bring the cabbage to the picnic as well. And so we use the goose butt to do that. Hence, butt cabbage. There we go. That was actually a pretty good cabbage. Uh, even with Willie's interruption there. So we're going to continue. This is kind of a scripted part of things uh, for this last thing, the thermos. Uh, it'll get him in position for some additional tasks that we still need to do to finish up the garden. Garden is definitely the most RNG heavy part of the run, uh, which is really nice because that means that all of our resets or most of our resets due to RNG are at the beginning of the run. Um, but so the timing on the way this all works is he gets to put this flower back. We're going to steal his hat because that's a task, not specifically to steal it, but to get him to put on his sun hat, which is uh, resting over here. And then while he's distracted, we're going to steal the rake. And that is everybody's favorite task, rake in the lake. So I hope you guys are going to get hyped for some rake in the lake action because we're dragging, we're dragging, and we're going to take a pit stop here to grab a carrot so that we can finish our picnic, uh, our nine item picnic here. There we go. The thermos wasn't quite on that blanket, so I had to just bump into it there when we dropped the carrot and that got it on. So we've completed all but one, and that means the groundskeeper is going to start his final task. While he's doing that, we finish raking the lakes. So we've now done 
all of the main tasks except for the final task. And we should make it back here in time. Oh, just in time to do that. However, oh good, his spade isn't there. Oh good, because his spade is over here. Forgot about that. That's going to be a slight problem. Um, but we will we'll, we'll sort that out. There we go. So um, we need him to chase us here. This is going to be a little awkward because there is a setup, but I didn't get to do it because I forgot that the spade wasn't in its normal place. Uh, but this is another hidden task that we're going to be working on here. And he's going to bump into us once more. But thankfully, he's set on that hammer. So we're going to be able to do this. A hidden So a main task is to have someone buy back one of their items. But a hidden task is to have someone from outside of High Street buy back one of their items. And so we're going to get him to buy back his spade. He is from the garden, not from High Street. And while that's going on, we're going to complete another hidden task, which is to make the scales go ding. And one more hidden task at the same time, too. We're going to trip the boy in the puddle. So there are five different hidden tasks in High Street. One, two, three. And now we're going to reset so that we can do the speed task for High Street. So after the reset, so because we've already had someone buy back an item, that's triggered on our task list is already completed. So that helps us for our progress towards the final task, but it does not help us towards our progress for the speed task. All the speed tasks need to be done during the same reset. So we are going to have to have the boy buy back his plane, even though we've already had the other buyback happen. However, uh, we are going to be able to get her to open up the garage, which is the final task, with two item, two things not completed because of having Willie having bought back that stuff. We have this umbrella here because that is another hidden task. It is the fourth one that we're doing here in High Street. Uh, High Street is pretty quick of an area. Uh, we need his glasses, though. Nope, nope. Uh, sh okay. Woo! There we go. Shopkeeper not cooperating. Okay. It's good. We did not want her, the shopkeeper there, to see what was going on. Uh, have her, because she would aggro and grab her broom, which would not be good. But now she's going to start her final task, uh, because all but one has been completed. Although all but two have been completed in this area. Okay. And so now we're going to do our gather task while all of the NPCs are distracted. She opened the garage, which is what we want, because we still have uh, one more hidden task and the final task that we're going to need to do. Uh, where is my apple? Nope, that is the toy. Nope, come, please, apple. Thank you. There we go. Uh, if you zoom in, it shows you the outlines of items, makes it a little bit easier to see stuff that is hidden behind other objects. Okay, and so our final hidden task is to trap the boy in the garage. Uh, our main final task is to trap the shopkeeper in the garage, so we're gonna trap them both in the garage at the same time. Two NPCs, one garage closing. If I can actually just hit the garage there. And so, uh, be like Goose, make sure that you are hygienic. Use your toothbrush, uh, even if it is a toothbrush out of the trash can. Gotta have clean teeth. And also be like Goose, only use one roll of toilet paper. There we go. We have completed all of our main tasks plus five hidden tasks here in High Street. We now have seven hidden tasks completed and we're going to try for the two reset. Uh, do we have any donations? This would be a great time for them. We do not currently have any donations. So you're watching this, go ahead, send us your honks and your money so we can send it on to COVID-19 Relief Fund for Hackensack Meridian Health. There is also the donation incentives to you can donate. So get that in. Uh, that was Teapot Cycle right there. That is really unfortunate. Uh, teapot Cycle happens very, very rarely. Um, not good. We're now waiting and losing a ton of time due to RNG. Uh, and because this is the two reset that I'm attempting here, we're going to try to get both of these two areas completed within the same seven minute period. We only have one minute of total leeway 
Uh, and that, so that really doesn't help having teapot cycle there. That's gonna wind up making this uh, two reset hund uh, hundo attempt here really, really tight. And um, a little monka, so we'll see. Hopefully everything else goes well here um, in the back garden. These neighbors, we call them Tina and Roger. They are the tidy and the messy neighbor. Um, but I, I'm a little nervous. If so, if, if we wind up just missing the bell, um, we're going to wind up losing like five minutes. However, my estimate does um, factor that in. So as a worst case scenario. So no matter what happens, we will be okay. But I, I would hate to have to do this area twice. It's just, you know, it's never fun. So the back garden is uh, really tightly cycled through on everything that we're going to do. We have to become the prettiest goose in all of the village right here. Get up and get our little bow. So we, we built up our bust. There is a hidden uh, task to do there as well, but we're going to do that in post game to build up the, uh, the bust with items from outside of High Street. But there's too, it's, it's too complicated to do that all within the, the two reset and we're able to bring a bunch of items over at the same time. And so it winds up fast being faster to do it twice and the second doing the second time in post game. Uh, so we have to do the laundry though. That requires the soap, the bra, two socks and a slipper. Conveniently, another one of the tasks is to take off both of Roger's slippers and make him go barefoot. So we will get both of those at the same time. We already took off his first slipper earlier uh, we are controlling Tina right now. We have a clench, what we call a clench cycle that we are setting up right now. Uh, we are on pace to get the clench cycle. So this back garden is actually going really well after that initial teapot cycle. And uh, it's gonna be really close here. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna make this. Uh, oh God! Oh, clench it with me, guys. All right, we made it. That. That cycle is definitely tight. Um, thankfully, we have not heard the bell yet. Have not heard the bell. Now we just we just have to wait. This is this is this is the part where it's like, oh god, are we going to make the two reset or not? We have to wait for the vase to break. The vase is going to get thrown out of the house right after us. Uh, okay. All right. Whew. The, the, the hard part of the run is pretty much over now. We made the two reset. Wow. So we, we made it cleanly. We, we got a no bell to reset. Uh, and so then we, we hit into, this is the final area of the game, the pub. We do our reset and we are now home free. We will not be resetting anymore. Uh, we have to wait to get into the pub anyway because the the shopkeeper's assistant there, the assistant, uh, colored box girl, she blocks your path. So we're going to need to move that box anyway. So we just wind up moving it part of the way now because uh, because we need to do something. And so it's just convenient to do it a little bit there. Um, we have to drop this, this pint glass in the canal. Uh, we want to lure the pub lady out so that we can do some other stuff without her bugging us. Uh, Cause she is one part Terminator, one part linebacker. Very, very determined individual. Uh, are we gonna get in here? Nope, we're gonna have to mess with him. There we go. Uh, otherwise he would just chase us. Please fall. This is uh, Bouncer Vinny. Bouncer Vinny, thank you for falling. Still potentially problematic uh, that Vinny is up here. I never, I never like it. Um, he could see us as we're doing some of this other stuff, in which case he's going to start chasing again, and that's not so great. So we need to set the table, which is bringing all of these items to the back of the pub. Uh, we also need to get this boat. Uh, I forgot the pepper. That's why this timing was off. So we need this pepper. It's another one of the items. 
Ah, oh, shit, he saw us. So... No! No, come on! No! What is happening? Oh, that's so stupid. Um, that's a clip that you can do there, but it's it doesn't always work. And so it didn't work there. That is unfortunate. Oh well, that's just, just a little bit of time lost, no big deal. Uh, so we have to do... Really, old man? That's... that's weird. Uh, he should have turned around and not seen us, but basically the, uh, we have to do two things with the old man. We have to make him fall on his bum, and we have to honk at him to break the dartboard. We also steal his hat because that is a hidden achievement. Um, we took the boat because that's going to be for a hidden achievement or a hidden task as well. Uh, it's, that's the only reason that we still need the boat. Other categories do not need the boat. So we have two tasks remaining. Uh, they can be completed in either order, which is to honk to break the dartboard and to finish setting the table. Let's let's check in. We don't want to miss the darts. Uh, what is he doing? What is what is going on with uh, old man here? Not really sure what he is doing. Is he going to do darts right now? No, he is just sitting with his harmonica. That is wonderful. I have no idea what cycle he is on. Um, that's that's really really weird. But, we'll roll with it. Okay, he's getting up to do darts now, so we'll just wait. Uh, if the timing worked out better, we could grab Vinny, because we need to drop a bucket on his head. That's going to be the final task. Uh, but I think if I went to do that, I would have missed that dart cycle. And really painful. It's about 40 seconds to wait around for it again. We're moving the hat, because we're going to use that for a second hidden task in the post game. So just a lot of just manipulating our NPCs, getting them around in position, moving items to where we want them to be. There we go. We need Vinny here in this in the back so that we can drop that bucket on his head. And that is going to just about finish up the main game. Um, pub lady, can you can you please? Anyway, that's fine. We have to wait for Vinny here anyway. We're going to grab that boat. Because we are... A hip party goose. We got to sneak by here. Alright, and so one of the hidden tasks is to drop the boat under a bridge. And so we're just going to drop it there, use the momentum, and sail it under a bridge. Another hidden achievement. Uh, we're going to do some nice glitch, little little glitches here, uh, if I can actually do basic movements. And we're just going to climb up this... Wow, I missed the bell. Okay, cool. Um, just try that. Let's try that again. Just going to climb up the side. Uh, climb up... Climb, climb up the side, please. Grab the bell. All right. Hey, third time is the charm. Uh, still probably faster than doing it the intended way. This is a nice and calming speedrun. Unless you are trying to speedrun it yourself, uh, then it is an incredibly frustrating speedrun. Because the NPCs do not cooperate. Uh, once again, fences are optional. And we're going to just, because of that, be able to skip the entire bell return. Any percent glitchless is the only category where you actually do the bell return. Every single other category has some way or another to skip it. Alright, and we are done with the main portion of the game. I don't know if we happen to get any donations in, but... Another opportunity for them, and if not, people get your donations in. No donations yet. Please, please, even one dollar helps. We're currently at two thousand eight hundred fifty-three dollars and fifty-five cents, but every 
penny, every dollar going to Hackensack University Medical Center Foundation is helpful. Even just three dollars pays for an N95 mask for healthcare workers. So please, please donate, and you can always put them towards incentives such as the Ocarina of Time's uh, file name, which is currently at Daddy. <laughs> Goose is not happy. Goose is honking because you are not donating. You do not want a honking angry goose. You can see the trouble that goose causes. Get out, get out of the, oh, are you kidding me? Fox girl, out of my way. Honk, I honk at you. I'm not gonna stop honking until you guys donate. This is, this is now a constant honk run. We do have one donation for $20 from Chagrin that just says HONK! Very nice. It's not enough though, we need more from people. Going to continue to HONK. So this is the post game. Uh, we have to do a couple of just kind of tedious things that we can't do in the main part of the game because of the resets. Uh, we have to collect five flowers. There's one flower in each area of the game and deposit them in the basket in the middle uh, there. We also have to score a goal with the soccer ball. Uh, the goal is in the back garden. Soccer ball is here in High Street. Uh, can you get out of my way, please? So, and we have to do some other stuff. We have to catch an item that's thrown over the fence. That's in back garden. And we have to get thrown over the fence. That's in back garden. We have to perform while wearing a ribbon. That's going to be back garden and pub combined. And then we also uh, have some final stuff at the end. So the run does not end once we complete all of the tasks. There is a final thing that we are going to do. So even though there's only a few hidden tasks to do, post-game does take uh, about 10 and a half to 11 and a half minutes, just because of all of the like walking and movement that we need to do between all of these areas, to just collect stuff and take it from A to B. All right, so ready to embrace our inner Lionel Messi. Uh, no, don't go in the shop though. We do not want to take the soccer ball through the shop. Uh, shopkeeper is not very kind in our soccer playing. Uh, but we need these glasses as well. So uh, we're going to move both the soccer ball and we're going to start working on the hidden task of dressing up the bust with items from outside of the back garden. And these glasses are going to be one of those three items that we're going to use. We are also going to use the old man's hat which is why we started to, to move that to a easier to access and time-saving location within the pub. All right, uh, this is sloped, so it makes it a little bit more challenging to continue playing soccer. The back garden itself is also sloped, fun fact. Uh, plank RNG, can we get some? No, we did not get good planks. So. The final boss of Goose Game, you probably didn't know that Goose Game had a final boss, but there is a final boss of Goose Game, and getting good plank RNG helps make the, that fight so much easier. Uh, sadly, we did not get good planks right there. We want, so uh, we'll come back to that though, when it happens. We did want Roger there to pick up the soccer ball first, that is ideal. Uh, can we, oh wow, he really threw that hard. Roger does not normally throw the soccer ball all the way over. It normally gets stuck on the other side of the xylophone. So good on you, Roger. Maybe you're doing a little strength training here in uh, in quarantine, hitting, hitting the protein shakes and the weights. All right, getting the soccer ball set up for later on. And distract Tina. She's gonna start building the bust. We also need, as we said, we need to get made the fancy goose again is the duck the final boss no the duck is not the final boss um, 
So we need to leave we need to leave that sock right there. There is a reason for it. And we got a couple more donations. Cami uh MCL donated five dollars and says, Hi Tass, here is coin. Thank Mongo you, Cammy. Donated thirty dollars and just said honk. And then DMD Barry donated one hundred dollars and said one hundred to not stop honking. <laughs> nice. All right, so we will keep honking here. Uh, we have a kind of jank clip that we're gonna do uh, to use the rose to get out of the back garden. Let's see, Hope hey, there we go. And as, as we keep, I keep saying, right? We use the sock to clip to the other side. Use the rose to clip out right there. Walls and solid objects really are optional in this game. So we have four of our flowers now. We are the prettiest goose, and we are going to remain the prettiest goose for almost the entirety of the rest of the run. Uh, we can keep honking here. Why not? And so we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, another performance. There we go. So we've now performed, and we're going to get this flower again, because we do need the flower. Um, we need we need him to come over here, though. Thank you. Thank you, Vinny. So we just, we just don't want him at the front, because we're going to need that hat. And here is that box that we went and positioned earlier. We're going to drop the flower. We're going to drop the hat in it, and we are going to move three items at one time. Interestingly with Goose Game is objects do have weight. So when you put stuff into the box, the box uh, gets heavier and it gets dragged slower. Oh, this is not good. Um, this is not good at all. I, mistakes were made. I should not have been honking. My honking caused this to happen. Um, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have to get that box back, but in the meantime, we will drop the flower. Normally we just drag the box over uh, really close and then it'll trigger, but we have time to spare because we had to wait. So might as well do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about the consequences of my actions, guys. I am sorry. <laughs> well, you did get a hundred dollars to not stop honking. We so it we did. It. it was worth it. It was it was for uh, the donations. We did it for the donations. Uh, it was worth it. What's a little time loss if it raises money for a good cause? Um, can we get the box the correct way up again, please? Thank you. I almost did it again. Yes, I was very concerned that I nearly just did it again. Very close to not learning from my mistakes. Uh, oh, Goosebutt. Goosebutt almost causing problems. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the most exciting part of Goose Game 100%. Dragging the box. So as I was saying, the box, do their objects do have weight to them. So by putting two objects into the box, the box gets uh, heavier and it's harder and slower to drag it. Uh, in some other categories, all hidden tasks, we drag the box with nothing in it, and it, you drag it a lot faster. Try to try to get some power honking going on here. So we have four tasks remaining. Oh yeah, go ahead. This, please go ahead with more donations. We have a donation from a freebie for five dollars that says nothing beats watching speedruns all day. Can't wait for that OOT 100%. So put my donation towards naming the file Banjo. And then one from Adaf for ten dollars that says kiss everyone from France. Thank you so much for your donations. Nice. Okay, that's that's good. Um, didn't get the. There's a bug where some weird stuff can happen. Uh, Roger, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, okay, hey, Roger was getting distracted and then he was not distracted. He was walking around. And the the NPCs kind of just do what they want in this game. Um, that's not good. I needed to catch that. <laughs> All right, we got one more chance. Can we please catch the flower? Uh, we need to catch an item. Thank you. Whew thrown over the fence. So she's gonna finish the bust. We're gonna finish up soccer. Um, we're going to finish up soccer. 
Uh, please. If I can see, I can't see my soccer ball. Goal! Congratulations, a reward is waiting for you at home. So, just because we have now completed all of the tasks in the game, all of the main tasks, all of the hidden tasks, all of the speed tasks, we are not done. There is a reward for us back at our little starting goose no uh, nest nook home, call it what you will, and we have to go find out what that reward is. After making a slight pit stop back at the garden. Because we have to torment the groundskeeper one more time. There is a reason for this. Promise. And just a reminder to everyone that all funds do go directly to the Corona Relief Fund by Hackensack uh, Meridian Health Center. So this is our reward. We have a crown. And the 100% category timing ends when the crown goes on the goose's head. So we manipulated the groundskeeper there to get him up here. So that he will put the crown on our head faster. Crown me. Cr cr crown me. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Just put it on my head. Thank you. There we go. Time. Uh, 30.55. Hopefully, not not the best run, but hopefully that was entertaining to all of you. Um, we, can, we can do one little celebration here. I uh, like to finish off runs in the best way possible. Doing a little surfing. Because I'm sure you guys all knew that after a hard day of tormenting villagers every good goose likes to go surfing well and the goose is just being smart because of course we want to make sure that you're getting out and getting exercise safely so now we're going to go surfing to finish things off there we go So thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed Goose Game 100%, Goose Game Speedrunning. I've been Tasselfoot, uh, GSA, really appreciate you letting me participate. And if you're interested in Goose Game Speedrunning, definitely check out the Discord and the guides on speedrun.com. Uh, if you enjoy my shenanigans, please feel free to give me a follow at twitch.tv slash Tasselfoot. And keep getting those donations in. Stay tuned for the next run and all of the runs through the rest of the weekend. Have a great one, guys. Peace. Definitely. Make sure that you're getting those donations in. We are going to take a brief break before Super Mario Odyssey here coming up. Um, so you can still get those donations in, and they will be read afterwards. Remember, all donations go to the Corona Relief Fund and are very helpful. Thank you, and we will see you later.